Welcome everybody, it's Tractor Shoot here for another great StarCraft 2 game, a little gold versus platinum time. Haven't seen one of these in a while. In the upper right hand corner of the map playing as the red Terran, it's going to be your man Shinkirian. Shinkirian. Shinkirian sounds even better. There you go, Shinkirian will be playing as the red Terran. In the lower left hand corner, playing the Zergs, I'm going to be the blue man. It is Jaw Triple. We plays for Team King. Ja Triple for Team King. Shankirian playing for himself as the Terran. Should be a doozer. Starting this map off here, we're going to get ourselves a good little Overlord scouting job done there. As you can see, these guys riding some pretty average skill level APMs for their skill anyways. As they do ride about 82 to 66. And which one was platinum, which one was gold, I really don't remember. So... We will have to base it on the APM tab. We'll check near the end of the game here. And maybe I'll even reload it just to see whether or not we are right or not. So take a look at the good old Eunice tab. You can see we just have a couple overlords on the map. Proto tab shows us that we are not getting the early spawning pool. So no sort of cheese going to happen here. Obviously a hatch first is the only other option when we don't get the early spawning pool. Or it could just be a drone scout first. Maybe a proxy hatch. Who knows? We'll soon find out here as he's going to head across the map here. Shinkirian, he's building himself off that standard Terran wall. So he might have that pretty close to walled off before his opponent gets there. Ah, uh, but maybe not. Not going to bring over the second uh, SCV to build that. Spide Able, so it does look like he will get a full scout off when he does get in that base. And scouting a Terran early. If you do get past that wall, usually doesn't do you any good. It's going to be so damn close. Oh, wrong way, son. I think he might have had a very good chance had he rolled that ramp up on the tight corner, but he didn't do so. Therefore, he'll just sit there beat on that supply depot while he gets rid of his frustration. In the meantime, there, we're going to get ourselves out some SCVs. Overlord's going to get themselves into positions. This is the easiest cross-spawn scout you've ever seen. One of those, one, there's actually two maps that are pretty much identical. Or, in fact, the other one runs this way. Uh, Akalon Waste, I believe it's called there. Same idea as this map, but in fact, this one has different terrain and different, uh, I guess, expansions are a little bit different. There we go. So, uh, Drone has finally given up. Realizes that was a pretty retarded idea. Cannot end up taking that out. So, it is SCV scouting time here. So, SCV for Shinkirian is going to head down the other end of the map here. You can see the hats first as expected. And the spawning pool about halfway done at this point. So, looking pretty good so far. These guys are probably riding fairly close on the drone count. Yes, it is. Drone to SCV 17 to 16. This SCV is going to get down. He's going to see hats first. We'll see how he reacts. Is he going to expand? He is going to expand. So he's not even going to scout at first. He's just going to blindly expand early here. So Shinkirian for Terran is a fairly early expand. What he has riding on this. Uh, about 343 in. Already got the expansion building right on location. So a little bit early. Uh, so looking to go into a bit of a macro game I guess. So, And we are going to scout ourselves around the outside of the base. There make ourselves a whole bunch of rally points. Very well done with the rally points. Son. Over here does look like this. Overlord is going to get out there and scout as well. Do like to see scouting overlords as I mention all the time there. Very good use of your overlords rather than pack them in the back of the map like they're getting in the way. Use them to get some vision on that map here. A couple of marines already out so he's just continuing to spit them out of his barracks. Going to ride on two more barracks so we can get three barracks early. Orbital commands out as well so very well done there. About halfway up on the expansion. In the meantime, his good old Zerg friend he hasn't really done anything outside that spawning pool, but he is getting the full scout off here, and he's finally ready to leave. He's done his job, got the intel he needs. Knows he's got a little bit of time to build up now. Uh, get at least one bunker out just in case we get some early dogs. I would have to imagine it's going to happen here. Or maybe not. You might just leave that expansion high and dry out there and see what happens. Nope, he is actually going to get that bunker. So very well done, my good man. Do like to see that. If we take a look at the APM tab, it looks like red has taken the lead. It's a little bit more consistent than what blue is. Blue is leading early, but red has that consistency. He's doing pretty good there. Take a look at the good old income tab. We are fairly even there as well. So we'll bring you back to the units tab. As you can see, we have zero dogs on the field here, but we do have four larvae, a couple queens, 27 drones, and all oh, them marines load up there. Overlord decides time to get a little bit more vision there. Hey, he sees the Marines coming. He figured he better get back over top of that tree before those Marines come and get me. And he's going to do so. It's going to be very, very close. Don't know if he's going to get away from this one. Looks pretty scary. Marines probably could have chased him down and killed him. But they're going to elect to go back home. They got a little bit tired of doing that. So they'll go back into their little bunker here. So Lord's going to slowly get across the map. Up at the base here, we do see layer technology pumps out just in time here. Double gas working as well there. Only two on the one though. Not entirely sure if that was on purpose. And down here we are droning up our little base here. We are going to get two marines here. They're going to get up there, take over that Naka Tower, get him a little bit of vision. Down here he's got the SCV sitting at that Naka Tower, so he's got the map control in the middle. And over at the other end here, still no dogs in the field, but we are doing a bit of a drone transfer. And Hydraless Den, it does look like Hydra Roach, one of the most simple builds, or at least Hydra Dogs so far here. I do not see any sort of um, Roach Warren here, which is fairly odd, but... 
Fair enough, my good man. Hydra Dog is a very valid build, or he could be going to Hydra Muta. Who knows here? He is getting the spine card double evil as the wall there. Very good wall off, my good man. Very good use of the proper buildings for that wall. And over here does look as if he gets back into position there as he did leave for a second. Down here at the other end here, we do have our full wall off of supply depots and bunker. In our base here, we are electing to go with a factory finally. So we're going three racks into a factory. Double gas mining at the main. No gas at the expansion. Mule drops have happened. So he's got the mules on the field as well here. No upgrade as of yet, but does have the evil chambers out if he chooses to do so. Is getting the Hydralis upgrade, the one for Groove Spines. Of course, it's always the first one. Give you that extra attack range. And it is Nidus time. All right. Things are picking up, boys. Here we've, at least with a uh, slow macro game, we know what's coming now. It's going to get exciting here. Don't worry. We're going to load this baby up. One Hydralis. Don't worry. That is one super Hydralis. He's got the vision over here. And this is where the opponent's going to regret not killing off that Overlord. But either way, he had this one over here. It's probably actually going to come in this corner of the base, to be honest with you. That's the more hidden area. But we will wait and find that out. A few Marines running around there. They're not seeing a whole heck of a lot down here. He's got another Marine. Keep an eye on the expansion. Nidus going in the corner of the base, just as we thought here. Take a look at the vision of the opponent here. Does he have that? No! Oh, he is damn close. He probably put that closer than he should have. He probably had a little bit more room to move that back. But either way, this is going to get interesting here. How many does he have? Having this baby please tell me you got lots oh baby six hydralis wouldn't mind seeing a few dogs in there pump a few more in there here we go mineral line time a lot of scbs are gonna go down here this is gonna be trouble for his opponent here shen kirian is not gonna be a happy capper he's losing scbs left right and center take a look at that count there wowzer 10 go down early marines are coming get back in the nidus boys run i love nidus if i haven't mentioned it i love nidus networks <laughs> there's some of the coolest things in the game he'll end up losing that baby do those things get free? They come down here. Yes, they do. Very well done there. So we will leave that one there. We'll leave that one loaded up. I imagine he's going to load it one more time. He did put one more in there. He's going with two. We're getting serious. This is one is not enough, man. He's got two. Two overlords still sitting outside the base there. This is going to get awesome. I'm so freaking excited for these two more. I'm not cheering for either one of these guys, but I love Nidus's. I will tell you that much here. And we also have the third going down. This SCB sees it. He's going to stare at it and watch that baby build. He's not even sure what to do with it. He doesn't even attack it. He's just going to sit there and let that baby build. We're going to wait for this one to finish. And I imagine we're just going to pump Hydras into it left, right, and center. How many do we got in this thing here? Where the hell did they go? Did he move his Hydra list? Oh, he's moving him over here. He wanted to get rid of that SCV. So they came over here, though, but the SCV did run on time. Very well done there. So he'll probably bring him back there. He does have 14 altogether. Not entirely sure how much each one of these things hold. I think it holds about 10 apiece, I believe. If I remember correctly, but it could be dead wrong. He's going to get right back up there. Doesn't have any upgrades, but does have two evils. And is getting goose by an incar pace here. Second one finished. We're going freaking three. We're not done with this yet. Oh, eh, here it is. All right, he's building it. Spy Depot's going to build beside it. They're going to watch it. Nobody wants to react here. Oh, especially when you have two. We're going double pronged attack here. Some Marines are going to move up this one. He's probably going to come out the other end here. We're soon going to find out. Oh, he's going to bring him in the Marines. No, get him back in there. No. Oh, no. What do you do up here? Okay, he's going to bring him up here. Oh, there's that big worm, and they're just shitting themselves down. They're all going to get out of there. SCV's got to get out of that line up here, and he's going to rebuild the one over here. His opponent doesn't know what to do now. All those SCVs are quit mining there. He's going to go to work on the assimilator. Get that thing out of the way so you got more room. There you go. Kicks those other. I guess doesn't give more room since the gas is there. Siege tanks are on the lower ground. Oh, this is not good for those hydralis. They're still going to try and focus it. They're getting right back in. There's very well done there. They're going to get out. But this one is unloading here. <laughs> this is actually pretty freaking funny. He's going to run a few guys up here. But the hydralis are probably actually going to kill these guys. Oh, I think they could have probably killed off that little bit of an army up there. But at the same time, he's coming right back down the other end here. But sieges are still up there. So that's not going to do a lot of good. Oh, gets on the backside. Does he have enough range there? No, he's got him trapped now. They're probably going to end up dying here now. Is he going to bring any more in here? We're soon going to find out. Only has six altogether, actually. So it doesn't really have a lot of hydralis, but could bring some more up here. But as the both taken out there so once this one dies off here that will be it but very interesting so far he did his job i mean let's let's look at the workers killed tab 19 freaking workers killed so i'd have to say that's a success mind himself back up to a good bankroll so very well done by shinkiri is that shinkiri no shinkiri is the terran this is jaw triple jaw triple very well done my good man shinkiri and decent defense that's tough defense when you got two pronged attack got a lot of focus good job splitting your army up i will say that so very well done my good man repair that uh orbital command there very well done and over here it does look like we did lose a drone trying to get a fourth base out i do believe and down here we do have an overlord just scouting over nothing here in the meantime we are going to drop it is time it's payback time i think here terran's pissed terran is pissed right off here it is payback he's got one loaded up here that's the only one he's sending down it looks like 
In the meantime there, we do have Hydralis. They're scouting around. They kind of know what they're looking for. So this baby's going to get across the map here. It's going to stop stuff right here. Could easily drop into here. There's one sport car there. Is trying to build a lot of spine cars around his middle line here, which is a very smart move. Uh, not too sure the route he's taking. Oh, he's going to drop up top here. Okay, fair enough. I will have to give that to you. I'm not entirely sure why you're dropping up top, but either way, you're going to walk down in the spine cars, which is going to be the prettiest of battles. And Wowzer! Apparently, that's why we didn't see the Roach Warren, because this guy likes his Hydras. I will say that much here. We're going to move out with those Hydras here. Take a look at the upgrade tab here. We do have ourselves working on level 2 for the Groove Spines here. But in the meantime, he does see the army has attacked. That was not the best of drops, I will say that. But the Medivac did end up getting out of there, and he did a uh, little bit of damage to the Spine Car. So, not too bad there, but he will end up retreating out of there. In the meantime there, we do have Overlords with that speed, and they're moving left, right, and center here. So, not too sure if he's looking for another Nidus, but he is planning down a little bit of creep there, trying to prevent the third. It is a Nidus over here. It is a Nidus over here. Double Nidus time. Maybe trying to draw him up top so we can get down below without them seeing, but SCVs have been pulled this time, not bringing the army up here. So, they're going to try and go to work here. Not too sure if this is the best move. If he gets a build, he's going to drop those Hydralis out so fast. Going to make your head spin, son. In the meantime there, attacking Overlords. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's a bunch of Hydras getting out there. Actually, doesn't end up getting that out at all here, so that didn't work at all. And the Vikings doing his job here, but it gets taken out from behind. So very well done there. 1-1 one, one on their upgrades now. Has his fourth out for the good old Zerg, so looking pretty good so far. In the meantime, their opponent, what's he got himself sitting at? Let's take a look. Four Marauders, 39 Marines, four tanks. Not looking that bad. Five Metavacs as well to support this. And he's turtled up pretty good there. Has elected not to get any sort of upgrades. But other than that, I'm sure that he does have his Combat Shield. Yes, he does. Combat Shield and Stim Packs. So very well done there. And we are pumped more barracks. Very good. Needs a lot more production buildings. We'll see that. So definitely helping out there. And now he's going to take out a couple overlords that are sitting around the map. In the meantime, I don't think it's really going to affect his opponent. He's got quite a good food count. But in the meantime, why not just drop down random freaking worms here? Okay, there you go. Overlord did something before it died. Got him the vision for the worm. These guys here, I don't think they're entirely sure what the hell is about to hit them. Oh, yes. It is Armageddon time, boys. We're about to see a bunch of Hydras come out. And these three Marines, I don't know what they're going to do. I think it's time to wet that diaper because this isn't going to look very good. Here we go, boys. Load that thing up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight coming out of there. How many do we get? Eight, 16, 24. There you go. I was way off of my count of 10. 24 fit out. He's going to bring the Overlord out. He sees they're still there. And now it's time. Oh, he wanted to bring them over to see what was coming. They end up dying. They don't kill much there. In the meantime there, he is moving the army out. This might not be a good sign for Judd Triple. Is that a jaw triple? Yeah, might not be a very good sign for him now. Now that he's actually getting pressure back there. He may be the king of funny cheese moves. That's not the Nidus is cheese, but Nidus is kind of considered cheese. It's funny. So, anyways, there. He will basically end up bringing his whole freaking army down here. Holy Christ, he is not pissed. Oh, don't overextend your... Uh, no! Control those medevacs! Oh, that didn't go over so well. Some of them tried to retreat. That didn't go over well. He doesn't even want a piece of that army. He's dropping another worm. That's going to be too late. This isn't going to look good at all. Whole army's coming up here. They're going to take out the rest of those Hydras. So very well done there. Doesn't even give them a chance to retreat. All three or four of those Overlords are going to go down like nothing here. And here we go. They're going to work on the Nice Canal next. Overlords next. Oh, wow. Like I say, too many Overlords. It does look like. Still at 200 food. So looking pretty good there. And now the tides are starting to turn a little bit. Shinkarian's starting to make a little bit of a comeback here. Getting a couple armies out of position. So looking very good now. Those Nidus's aren't so fun now. I think maybe you'll underestimate his opponent for a bit. They're just going straight Nidus play. And we do have a couple more command centers. His opponent is finally looking to expand here. Is moving the army up here. Still does not have any upgrades. Maybe he doesn't like his upgrades. Doesn't work on them at all anyways. 1-2 for his opponent. And they should be able to clean this army up quite easily here. They're going to come down. Melt that spine core. Melt that one Hydra list. And go to work on this... Uh, sport car first as well and a lot of oh wow that's a lot of hydralis coming in here about 40 to be exact here they're actually going to clean up this army quite easily so very well done this is where the upgrades come into play barely even lost any hydras there so very good kill off there kills off that entire army here and now the food count starting to slip 170 to 95 166 to 92 sorry pick up a few guys might as well get them out there as many as you can drones were even pulled off the line there so very well done there it does look like he is going to get his other side of there Chasing himself back to his base here, but he's got enough of those barracks down now that he can start pumping out guys left, right, and center. Getting the rest of his add-ons here. Wasn't quite macro at the greatest with that attack there. Tough to macro micro at the same time. We'll say that. There goes the ton of mules. They're going to get down there and definitely help this mining production get up there. Uh, blue blue definitely has a fairly good mineral count, but red needs to work on this here. I will say that. Shankurian needs to get that uh, count up here. The triple looking pretty good. Three more going across. We're not done with this worm play here. We're going to move across with three more of those babies. They're going to go look to drop. Oh, we scouted something. Who's going to turn around? 
No, but it, well, obviously the overlords aren't going to turn around, but Medivac's not going to turn around at all. We're going to allow this to happen. He's got to know worms are coming, man. All right, we'll leave that one alone as we'll see it on the map if it does happen. Over here, it does look like we are going to take this drop down here. We're going to try and lay it down pretty nicely here. It does have a couple spine cores back there he's going to drop right into, but we'll soon find out whether or not that's a good idea for him. And he does stop, and here we go. We're going to go to work here, but at the same time, we are going a double Nidus. We can let those babies build while we watch this guy try and take out as much as he can. Takes up one spine car. Going to go to work on the, uh, oh wow, very quick on the drop the drones off there so gets rid of the drones there got the queen out there but in the meantime at the other end here worms have come out the ground guys at the bottom here which one's going to come out first here oh it does look like the top here top is coming out with a crap ton even drones oh this is sick i love seeing drones in the nidus is here we're going to go to work take out the command center he was pretty much out of minerals there anyways try and take out as much as he can at top base in the meantime he's dropped at the bottom base too Oh, and over here, we also have something happening here. Medivac, they do clean up the rest of that army here. He's going to go to work here. He is taking over. <laughs> Extractor's going down. Taking over everything he can here. Tanks are trying to clean up the army. But at the top area here, oh, he sent his entire army up there except for the tanks. So they end up uh, basically chasing them all back in here. But that is a lot. They're just going to sit in there. Probably wait for this army to move over here, I would have to assume. In the meantime, he's pretty much got that bottom area controlled. And there they go. He's got to get everything out of there. Oh, did he end up saving them when that happens? Yes, you do. Okay, so they end up coming out the other end here. But at the same time there, he does get his also his uh, command center survived somehow. He did end up losing his, both his gases there, but that's quite fine. He doesn't really need gas. Look at him. He's got 1,200 of it. So he's got that pretty much made out. And in the meantime there, 289. So his opponent's slowly picking him apart. Now now we're starting to see the overwhelming numbers. Screw the Nidus Canals. We're getting serious now. We're just going to move across the map with our 1-2 upgrades. A little bit surprised he hasn't got more upgrades since he had the 1-2 forever. So it does look like 2 is going to finish up here. Number 3, 4 weapons is on the way as well. And we are going to move out and... Maybe look to expand over here. He's bringing all his Hydralis over here. Not entirely sure. Just maybe uh, regrouping here. But at the same time, his opponent might be looking to expand over here. Oh, at least in the general vicinity. Stip pack goes on. Hydralis are trying to get up the ramp there. This is where upgrade count might take effect. You're all 1-1 one, one for the other team, though. So uh, Shinkiri and Fine did get upgrades. But at the same time, these uh, oh, uh, Hydralis are just too overwhelming. Wilder. Numbers just got to him. Good try, Shinkiri, and I will give you my condolences. My congrats to you, Jaw Triple. You played yourself a hell of a game. A very entertaining game. I will give you that much here. I will leave you with this. Please don't use my black pen, because the last time I saw you buy three pie toilet paper, I was not wearing diapers. You be good. Don't hurt nobody. Peace.